What's going on? Welcome back to 100% NUFC. So I've got a new video for you and I'm sorry for the lack of uploads this week but due to the international break there's not a lot to report on but however there has been some breaking news over the weekend that Captain Jamal LaSalle has signed a new six year contract tied him down at Newcastle United for the next six years until 2023 and at the end of the video I want your thoughts on Jamal LaSalle signed a six year contract with the extension of abstain from now until 2023. So Jamal LaSalle has been on to say that he's over the moon to have signed an extra six years and he said since I came here to Newcastle I've been very happy I love the city I love the football I love the fans and everything about it I enjoy so I'm happy to be tied down for the next six years and he just wants to push on and Rafa Benitez went on to say that Jamal LaSalle has proved himself to be a very good leader and a good role model too uh, Benitez also went on to say that he has also improved as a player responding well to our advice, guidance and getting better with every game. I would like to congratulate him on his new contract. It is very well deserved and I have to agree with Rafa Benitez, it's very well deserved. You know, you look at Rafa Benitez uh, when he came in, when we were in big trouble, obviously we got relegated in the 2015-2016 campaign. Jamal Lascelles, um was part of that, that game against Southampton where we were getting beat at half time and being the youngest lad in the, in the group when we had the likes of Dal Yanmat who had Genie Wijnaldum to so go, none of them were pulling their socks up and wanting to play for the club. He stood up to them at half time and goes, Come on, lads, you know, you need to give it everything, you know, you need to, to play for the shirt. If you aren't good enough, get out. And uh, since then, he's been made captain, and we were very unlucky not to stay up that season because if Rafa Benitez had been given an extra few games, we would have stopped up. And again, he led by example, you know, he was made captain when we got relegated to the Championship, and what a great captain he's been, you know, in that Championship campaign in the 2016 2017 campaign when we got promoted back to the. Uh, the Premier League, he was one of the best centre backs in the Championship by far, alongside Lewis Doug with Brighton. And he's he's a very good communicator for his age. You know, he's only young, and he, he's not scared to put a tackle in. He's not scared, to, you know, to to do this, to do that. And he, he's a no nonsense uh, centre back, and that's what you want. You want someone who's there who's just gonna you know clear the ball, head the ball away, and just to do the things that that need to be done as a centre back. And you look at this season in the Premier League, he's been most improved. You know, he's got where. Two crucial goals and the two crucial goals that he scored against Stoke City and Swansea have got with six points. And if you take those six points away from what we've already got, which is ten, we'd only have four points and that would be in the relegation zone. And he's been nothing short of amazing. Uh, you've only got to remember at the start of the campaign, Rafa Benitez went with Florian Lejeune, our new centre-back from Ibar. But then he got an injury. And then who would have known what, where Jamal Lasalle would have been if it wasn't for Lejeune's injury. But since he's came, came back into the fold... He's been remarkable, you know, he's cleared the line a few times, you know, the, the, again, the two goals. And he's been a captain, you know, he is captain material, been a young lad. And under Benitez, he's only going to get better, and that's a good thing. And I think for, for his development, he, he needs to keep learning under Rafa Benitez. And, you know, he, you can see he's a keen learner, and that's what you want as a as a fan, for players to learn to play for the shirt, you know, wear it with pride. That's all we care about. If you are going to play with a shirt with pride, you're going to get far. If you're going to be the likes of Sissoko and Adam and not care about it, then, you know, again, there's only the door. And that's what Rafa Benitez is like. He's ruthless. And again, Jamal Lascelles, even though he's, he's signed a six-year contract, he still has to improve as a player. Rafa Benitez is a ruthless manager. And if you don't play for the shirt and you don't give it 100%, then you know you're out the uh, door. Or you just know you're not going to get a, a game for however long he decides to keep you out for. So again, you let me know your thoughts on Jamal Lascelles. I'm absolutely amazed. I'm uh, I'm excited for his future. Um. A player, sorry, I'm not, he's not, I'm not a player. I'm, I'm a player that I'm looking forward to seeing more uh, throughout the season. And I think over time he's going to get better and better and better. And he's got a chance of uh, also playing for England uh, in, in the next season or two. So again, yeah, you let me know uh, your thoughts on Jamal Lascelles. Also, don't forget to subscribe and, um, and all that kind of stuff. Go on my social media. All links will be down below in the description, Twitter, Instagram. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all later. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all later. Peace out.